Hello, my name is Nick, and welcome to Fig 2. On September 1st, 1939, Nazi Germany invaded Poland. On June 3rd, 1930, the Nazis took Paris. But what if, on June 16th, hundreds of Martian ships called Spires landed on Earth? The following is a possible outcome of this scenario. It may not be the most likely one, but it's fun to think about. So, without further ado, what if World War II was on Mars. So, the ships have landed. Shortly after, the world's governments discover them and conclude that they are uninhabited. By November, the governments are able to decode simple messages left by the aliens detailing how they were wiped out by a plague. The few survivors fled their city on Mars and came to Earth, but the plague found its way onto the ship and killed all the aliens. No alien bodies were found, nor any sign of the virus. But after several months, Nothing shows up, and so the governments become less nervous. In December, Nazis salvage ships that can be made space-ready and are planning to go to Mars to recover technology from the alien city. But this information is intercepted by French spies and is spread throughout the Allies. This prompts the United States and USSR to join the war, and some Allied nations as well as Japan attempt to salvage spires of their own in the next six months. By June of 1931, the first spire is launched by the Japanese Empire. In the following summer, Nine Mir ships, run from the United States carrying a secret weapon, land on Mars near the crater that the city rests in. And by New Year's, several camps have been established by each nation, including ones around the spires serving as capitals on Mars. On a scouting mission in February, Soviet soldiers come into contact with the nomadic and tribal Martian natives. They are perplexed by their lack of advancement compared to the creators of the spires. Soon after, the Nazis come into contact with them further north and imprison them. By March, both sides have claimed significant amounts of land, and the map looks like this. I'm going to leave this up for a second, so you can look at it. Japan decides that it is stable enough in its power on Mars, and makes a move to take the alien city. The soldiers are ill-prepared, and their forces are thinned by the drone-like sentries. News of this encounter gets around and the Allies and Axis powers alike realized that they will need to take control of one of the passes down into the crater. The Nazis had already claimed one, but had only loose control. The Wehr plods on on Earth, and there are small skirmishers on Mars, until the spring of 1934, when Soviets make a rush for the alien city through the Eastern Pass. They weaken the city's defenses with an initial attack, but are ultimately obliterated. Only a few survivors remain to flee. In the beginning of June, America begins to formulate a plan to take the Southern Pass. They will send a large platoon to the pass to take control, and leave about a quarter of their men at the pass to maintain it. But they are ambushed by Japanese, who had intercepted communication about their plan. The Americans defeat them, but their numbers are vastly reduced. Because of casualties and those left behind to tend and guard the injured, only 20% of the original platoon go on to raid the city. This raid fails and leaves nearly all the soldiers involved dead. Five days later, fearing that the next Allied attempt at a raid on the city would be successful, the Nazis launch a gigantic raid from the Northern Pass and successfully capture the city. For 20 days, the Allies wait, and then, early on Tuesday morning, sentry drones descend on an Australian camp, killing almost a quarter of its inhabitants with ease. This was a show of power. The United States knows that the Allies won't be able to take the city, and if they were to bring the power they have to Earth, the Nazis could win the barren days. And so, they make a calculated decision. They will use their secret weapon. On July 1st, a nuclear warhead is launched at the city, and it is completely destroyed. There are no survivors. The Nazis surrender on July 3rd, and the Americans celebrate Independence Day with a great victory. Auschwitz is liberated by the Soviets in August, as well as the camps imprisoning the Martian natives. The United States pushes the Japanese back on Mars, and they flee back to Earth in November. The United States and Japan continue fighting in the Pacific. In late December and early January, the Soviet Union takes Manchuria from the Japanese in only 12 days. After such a crushing defeat and fearing America's atomic bomb, Japan surrenders on January 8th. Though in this situation, the Allies still won. The world will be changed forever. The idea for this project was developed by a friend of mine and I. It is also partially inspired by Alternate History Hub. He makes videos similar to these and is really cool. If you haven't heard of him, you should really check him out. My name is Nick. This has been Fig2, and thank you for watching.